Welcome to my fourth annual mascara roundup where I test tons of mascaras through the year and then I bring you my results and what I found, what I liked, what I didn't like, and believe it or not, this year we did 57. Last year we did 45. This year is 57, so we have quite a few more. There are a few primers in here as well, and I will show you those in just a minute. But before we do get started on that video, I always like to tell you about what I have on for a shirt because I get asked every time in, this, in these videos. So I have on a really nice lightweight spring sweater. It's very, very lightweight, super duper soft, and it has the little bit of detailing where it like has little holes in it. So you might want to wear a camisole with it if you get it. And it isn't quite tunic length it's just a little bit above that so that you know that fits kind of a little bit looser I think the one that I have on is a small and I normally wear a medium in most fitted tops so that you know that also the jewelry I have on the earrings the necklace the rings the press-on fingernails and all the makeup that I have on will be listed and linked below for you as well all right let's get started on the review we're going to do worst ones first because I am not taking any time at all but I'm going to tell you why I didn't like these particular mascaras one of my biggest pet peeves is a mascara that flakes and every single one of these mascaras right here flaked. So we're going to get those out of the way first. And usually I toss them over my shoulder because it's just a sign that I'm disgusted with them and that I had to go through the pain of trying on a mascara that wasn't good. But we're not going to toss today. And it hit the headboard and it'd make a whole bunch of noise and a whole bunch of mess that I'd have to pick up. All right, Bobbi Brown. This one is the No Smudge Waterproof Mascara. Might be no smudge, but it sure was flaky by the end of the day. Pixie. This one is the Lash Booster Mascara, Pixie by Petra. Again, flaking. Terrible. Pacifica Aquarian Gaze Mascara. Flaking. Ugh. This one is from Elizabeth Mott. Um, it's so long mascara and she has the worst names almost as bad as nars but not quite anyway this one was also flaky from give beauty by gwen stefani i did not care for this one i really wanted to like this one because i love that makeup line but uh it was very flaky and kind of clumpy it has a unique brush on it very very unique brush on it and yeah, I really wanted to like this one, but flaked by the end of the day, can't have that. This one is from Essence. It's Lash Like a Boss Instant Lift and Curl. Terrible mascara, in my opinion. It didn't build or anything. This one is from Physicians Formula Lash Illusion Mascara. That one didn't work. This one is from KVD Beauty. This is the Full Sleeve Mascara. That one didn't work. Now, before I tell you about this one, I put this one in one of my favorites videos re very recently. And I do really love the Lash Princess Mascara from Essence. I love that whole line. However, by the end of the day, this had a little bit of flaking. This is the brown version of that. I love this brown version because it's a deep brown version. It really does look really beautiful, especially if you're somebody that's very fair and you have a hard time with super black mascaras. I really do love this one, but by the end of the day, so if you're gonna be wearing this, say 12 hours, 14 hours, which a lot of us do wear our mascaras that long, it does flake some at the end of the day. So I did wanna tell you that, although I do love the whole concept of this. So my hope is that soon they come out with one that is the waterproof formula in the brown. That to me would be the ultimate. All right, the next bunch of them that I could not do, and these are all mascaras that clump. When you pull them out of the tube, you've either got a bunch of clumpiness right there on the brush itself, or when you're working with it, it gives you a bunch of clumpiness that you have to work with. And who wants to do that when there's so many online that are so good? Okay, so let's start out. Cover Girl, Lash Plumping Mascara Water Resistant. That one clumped. City Beauty Beyond Mascara. I actually did get sent this one, so you know that my reviews are all my own thoughts, not something that I do because they send me something. Beyond Mascara, it clumped. Rimmel Scandalize Drive Alert. This one clumped as well. And then the It Superhero. I know that this is so many people's favorites. I don't know how you guys get it from clumping. Every single time I try to work with this, it clumps so bad. Huda Beauty, one coat wow. It would did not wow me. It clumped a whole bunch. <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one um, doesn't even have it on there. What does it say? Lash Sculpt. This one clumped as well. Fermented Cosmetics, L Long Live the Lash Mascara. And that one clumped. And then from MAC, the MAC stack that came out 
out last year as well. That one clumped like crazy. All right, the next ones that I have are ones that smudged and or did not perform in putting any length or any true volume. The MAC Dry Shampoo, I don't understand the whole concept of this one exactly, but it is basically Ash Dry Shampoo Mascara Refresher. I don't find that it refreshes my mascara after I have another mascara on. I don't find that by itself it does anything other than smudges at the end of the day. Lancome Definisil's Waterproof. Actually, this one is a really borderline one for me. And even though I did find that it did smudge, it's a waterproof. It still built up. It was so pretty in the beginning and I had such high hopes for it. But by the end of the day, I did have a little bit of smudging, which was really disappointing. The L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, this one didn't build. This one wasn't necessarily a smudger, but it didn't build. And if you've ever seen this one, it has just this really tiny, thin brush on it, which everybody loves to grab those bottom lashes. And this is a favorite of so many people, but I couldn't get it to build anything up. And by the end of the day, it smudged. Maybe the waterproof is better. The Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes from Charlotte Tilbury, it smudged really bad on me. And then there is a new one from Sephora called Love the Lift. This one was just subpar. It wasn't great on building anything up and we had smudging at the end of the day. And then the Tarte Man Eater. Now, if you buy the waterproof formula on this one, this one doesn't smudge. And this is one of my favorites in the waterproof. However, it is a little bit harder to take off. So that's why I actually didn't put it in here. But if you buy the original formula, I found that it smudged, even though it does make your lashes look really pretty right off the bat. All right, the next batch is interesting because these are ones that are long lasting and they give you a lot of length, but there was no volume per se as you worked with it. And the reason that I put that in there is because I can get a lot of length out of my lashes. My lashes are fairly long on their own. So it does look pretty good to begin with, but the element that is missing there is that volume. I need volume because I have kind of sparse lashes, longer, but sparse. All right, let's start with Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Lash. I hope that's what it's called. Probably should grab the glasses. The next one is from Jane Aradell. This one again was actually pretty good beyond lash, but it did not give me the volume that I needed. The next one is one that I actually really like, and I have both formulas of this, but again, the volume is missing for me. And these, this is the Faulty Surreal. I do like this one very much. I like it better in the waterproof than just, you know, this is like a carbon black, super duper black one. But what's missing for me is that it's not building up the volume while it's giving me the length and being long lasting, holding a curl, all those things. And I actually didn't put in here too much about curl because I do find that I don't have too much of a problem with holding curl in my lashes. Most mascaras, as long as I get them on immediately after I curl, will hold the curl pretty good. The ones that aren't the ones that are in my top mascaras today, those ones probably didn't hold a curl very good and that's why they got put in these other categories as well. This one was a fence one for me. Rare Beauty, it almost ticked the box of getting giving me volume. A lot of people love this and this is their ride or die, but it didn't quite give the volume. Great length and no smudging, but didn't quite give the volume that I like. Elf Lash Beats, this one didn't do that at all. It didn't give the volume at all. And so this one, even though it was long lasting and I did like it, it just didn't build up. And I'm an Elf Lash person. I love their mascaras. This one from Polite Society, no volume whatsoever. And as a matter of fact, this one didn't give very good length either. I was really looking forward to that one. This one from Rimmel Scandalize. This is the Retro Glam. This one is very borderline as well. If you pick this one up, you might really like this if you have okay volume. But again, for me and my sparse lashes, no volume, not enough volume, I should say. Then Tower 28, again, I, I really wanted to put this in the pile of those that I absolutely love. But in the long run, this is one that just fell very short as far as giving me volume that I needed. So this one, I almost want to tell you that if you've been thinking about it and you hear a lot of good reviews about it, this one, you could go ahead and say, well, I know Melissa said that I'm going to get long lasting and I'm going to get that length. So maybe it'll work for me. So I, you know, that's another one. This one was really kind of innovative that I got sent 
And this one I thought for sure was gonna give me both the volume and the length that I needed. It did last a long time. The reason is, is because here we have one brush that you can dip into that is step number one or step number two and then the other brush that you can dip into that's the other step so you have two brushes in this mascara which i think is quite smart as far as you know you have a silicone bristle brush and then the other one you have more of a natural bristle bristle brush but in the end it did not give me the volume i needed both those brushes just seemed to make my lashes longer and it was a nice long lasting formula it just didn't build the volume that i needed okay here are the three primers that i spoke of the first one is from lash princess and it is a white primer as they most all are i wasn't super impressed with this one i feel like this primer was okay but i also felt like it got a little bit goopy and a little bit clumpy and so this is not one that i would say run out and get per se I do like the Lash Paradise primer a little bit more, but still it does have the tendency to get a little bit goopy. And the other thing that I'm not crazy about with these white primers is you have to be careful to cover them completely with your mascara. Now, Emily Noel turned me on to this primer this, this year, and I really was very pleasantly surprised with it. And I'm so glad that this one came into my life because even though it's a little bit more expensive, this tube has lasted me a long time. And it is a black primer from Estee Lauder. It's the Little Black Primer. And it's got a very nice curved wand and it's got the natural br bristle brushes, which does lend itself to building a lot of volume. And the fact that this is black, it just seems to enhance my lashes. So really like this one because it also gives that boost to your own mascara and it makes your lashes longer, fuller, hold the curl, lo longer lasting, all of those good things. So checks off all the boxes, really like it. And then I wanted to put in five tubing mascaras in here. And I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat that every one of these I do like. I love a good tubing mascara. I think that sometimes you need to use an eyelash brush or comb to separate your lashes. That kind of happens sometimes on a tubing mascara. But what's beautiful about tubing mascaras is how easy they come off at the end of the, your day and that they do last most of the day. So they're making that tube around each individual lash. And if you can get your lashes separated, if you have very sparse, sparse lashes like I do, then you can really have a beautiful mascara or eyelash look. So a couple of them that didn't come out this year, but they're really good from Calaray. I really have enjoyed this one. It's got a natural bristle brush. My tube is a little bit older, so there's a little bit of clumps on that brush right there. But when this was newer, it was an absolutely perfect mascara, coated those lashes, gave great length, didn't come off till the end of the day. Just love that. And then the Milani Highly Rated, again, another perfect tubing mascara, I think. And it's at the drugstore. This does have a silicone bristle brush to it, kind of a um, Christmas tree or evergreen tree shape to it. And this one, you can get every little single lash coated. And I really like the wand on this one. And it does exactly what a tubing mascara should. Have I tried Thrive? I Yes, I absolutely have tried Thrive. It is in some of my other mascara reviews. It's not in this one, but I do like that one very much. I think that these that they've come out with recently, the one from Milani, and now I'm gonna show you the one from e.l.f. I think that they are every bit as good and they're not so expensive. e.l.f. has the Lash Extender Tubing Mascara that they came out with and oh my goodness, this for me is the best tubing mascara that I've tried in a really long time. Again, same wand as the Milani one, very, nice wand separates lengthens builds by the end of the day you've still got your mascara on comes off slick as a whistle even if you wanted to just take it off with water and a little cloth it comes off so pretty so really like that one and then Tarte came out with two tubing mascaras and they first came out with the original version which is a very nice version i don't quite understand why we came out with the second version because i will tell you that i don't feel like there is any difference in them the wands are exactly the same the xl which is the second one that they came out with is supposed to be um, a little bit more extending 
or a little bit longer length, I didn't find that to be true. I found that they could both do the same identical thing, build up that length. You get great, beautiful length with these tubing mascaras. And again, you can get some beautiful volume. I love both of them, but I don't think they needed to come out with a second one because I do feel like they are very comparable. So if you've been wanting to try one, try one or the other, you're gonna get the, basically the same thing. Now, here is the last of the lineup of the mascaras that I really like. Now, these mascaras, all of them, believe it or not, all of them provided great volume, great length, great to build on themselves. Also, they last a long time. They did not smudge and they held my curl. So all of these did that. Now, I know that some of you are going to look at some of these and you're going to go, well, it didn't do that for me or it did this for me or whatnot sound off in the comment section if as i get through some of these you're going no that didn't happen or yes it was great for me let me know we're going to kind of go up the scale so we're going to start out with the ones that are ones that i don't reach for every day and to to the ones that i reach for all the time but here's the thing as i'm grabbing up a handful of these i'm thinking i can't tell you that the ones that are coming up are going to be the best mascaras i've ever tried because i like them all a lot a lot a lot and so please keep in mind that they all perform really well and sometimes when you're in different countries you can't get certain ones so any of these i think would be just beautiful mascaras let's put this glasses on not upside down i think they would be beautiful mascaras for you and so here we go this one right here is called all day long and curl mascara and it doesn't even say who oh it's by milk touch it says this is a great mascara for really giving you that volume and giving you the length and it's got a little bit of a curved wand and as i'm looking at it i can actually see little fibers in there so you're definitely getting that building up of the lashes making them look more thick than they are because of those little fibers this is a really nice mascara the one thing that i would say is a drawback to this one is that the tube you can pinch air in and out that's a little bit of a drawback but it's still a really good mascara the next one is the waterproof version of the lash princess now i know that so many of you have said that you've tried to work with this and again like i said about the brown it either flakes or it smudges a little bit well the waterproof version Version doesn't do that so great on all of the boxes that we check the volume the length all of the things and still you'll have it on at night take it off with a beauty balm it comes right off it's not one of those waterproofs that you're gonna have to you know work out for three days to get off at all from milk makeup the rise mascara now this one i thought was so good and i had forgotten i had actually set this aside and it's gotten a little too old so the brush on it is a little bit round but it looks weird because it's a little too old and i'm gonna throw it away but it is a really good mascara while i had it when it was fresh and for the three months it was just a beautiful mascara that gave such amazing length and i don't think i said well that brush was out this is a natural bristle brush that lends itself to volume i get so much volume when i get a natural bristle brush so this one was a definite yes for me elf lash it loud mascara this one won one year in my yearly reviews of makeup and i wore this so much that year i love the way that this brings out the length in your lashes and i also love the way that this is on all day and it still looks very fresh all day it has a silicone bristle brush and it's kind of rounded this is just a really good mascara that from elf i think it's seven dollars it, you cannot beat that when you get a great mascara that does all the things and it's still at a really good price so that one is a really good one from Ilia, this is their mascara limitless mascara and this one is a silicone bristle brush kind of almost an hourglass it's going to be a little bit hard to see there but this one does some beautiful beautiful length on your lashes and then it also does all the volume the little building of your lashes up so you can get them longer and thicker it holds a curl really good too i know that this one does i just wore this the other day and it really did hold a curl really well i feel like this one definitely gets a thumbs up as well for me and then the lash paradise from l'oreal this one is um, one that they came out after Too Faced came out with theirs. This has got a hourglass wand. Again, this one is a little bit older. I've been holding on to it way too long. But it, this does really great on the volume building, which is something I need. 
but the length on it is beautiful because you can build it and again you will be able to have this on at the end of the day holds a curl for me very very well this is one that i've loved for years and years and has been in several different lineups of what i've loved for mascara natural bristle bristle brush i don't think i said that again so you're going to get that really great volume from it so this one if you let it go too long if you hold on to it for too long it's going to clump on you but if you just use it for the three i do mine for six months not just three months but if you use it in that amount of time it's not going to get real clumpy on you at all the one that i just barely showed to you guys that was an instant hit for me was the smashbox super fan mascara the reason that this one just kind of was like wow to me was it did pick up all that volume so each individual little eyelash that i had was coated by this this is a silicone bristle brush and all of these that are in this part as well they're very black mascaras and that's one thing that i look for as well mascara has to be very black in order for me to like it unless i show you the brown one but the super fan was one that i was really shocked because i'd just been through a bunch of these and they were all flaking they were all smudging this one was so pretty by the end of the day and i was really glad that i'd gotten sent this sample and i said this in my other video that smashbox sent me a bunch of products and this was the only one that i picked out out of all those products that i fell in love with it's a really good mascara next two mascaras i have on today and this one is the cover girl exhibitionist stretch and strengthen mascara and it is on this eye right here and i just really have loved the exhibitionist mascara ever since it came out in the silver tube I, it doesn't matter which ones i use of them they work really well on my eyes they show a great beautiful volume on the eyes and they also show a beautiful amount of length so really have liked that one and then the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. This one is one that same thing I've loved forever. It has a natural bristle brush and it does have a little bit of an hourglass shape to it, not too much. These are a lot alike, these two mascaras. So if you see one that's on sale and you might wanna try one or the other, then know that they're both equally as good and I give my stamp of approval to both of these. But the Maybelline is on this eye and the CoverGirl is on this eye today, just so you know that. Okay, so I'm down to the last six mascaras right here and you could pick any one of these and i would say that they are equally as good as each other they just have a tiny bit of difference in them sometimes i pick two mascaras in the day because sometimes they have that natural bristle brush and i really want the volume and then i will take and i will lengthen with a silicone bristle brush so in no particular order here we go the telescopic lift mascara that came out last year from l'oreal I found that in the waterproof formula, I fell in absolute love with this. This has a natural bristle brush, and what it has is on one side of there, it, it's flat, so it has no bristles, little bristles on the other side, and then a little bit higher bristles on another side. A little bit of a curve there. I think that the brush being so many different bristle lengths and then no bristle lengths and the curve and everything, I think that's why this mascara is so special. And then when you get into the formula, then you're getting the building and you're getting the lengthening, the volumizing, the curl hold, especially with this waterproof one. And I didn't find that this waterproof one was hard to take off at all. So I wore this for months and months and I really love it. And I went back and I purchased, this is my second one. So really have enjoyed this one from that came out from last year. Also from last year, and I took it in my car and then it got squished on one side, is the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. And they were giving you an alternative to the benefit lash curl curl lash something like that great mascara from benefit but this one from elf every bit is good beautiful little curve there that seems to lend itself to holding the curl because you're kind of you know scooping up and you're doing it all in one sweeping motion silicone bristle brush great formula that lasts all day long does not flake does not smudge and you will have this on and you'll be taking it off so again here we go check check and then the next one is the lawn comb tint eye doll mascara this is so good and i would say that the elf lash and roll is just about the same as this one i love this one with the silicone brush from lawn comb i think this one separates and gives you great volume holds the curl 
this is a beautiful mascara that you can build upon and I really like it. But if you're wanting to really save a few dollars, the Elf Lash and Roll is actually pretty darn similar in the way that they perform. Love this. I think it's a great mascara. As a matter of fact, I think this is Lisa J's favorite mascara. I see her use it all the time, but I do think that if you're wanting to save some money, you can save some money very easily by using the Lash and Roll. So now we're down to the last three and I'm going to tell you that for years and years and years, and I'm gonna put up a picture right here of me wearing the Benefit Their Real Mascara for years. This was the only mascara that I used. From the time it came out, I would say over 10 years ago until about the time that I started my YouTube channel, which was a little over eight years ago. So for at least two or three years, this is the only mascara I wore because of the way it performs. And this is an incredibly gorgeous mascara. Silicone bristle brush, What's cool about this brush though is straight across the bottom, it has barbs on its brush that you can turn your brush like this and you can pick up every single lash on your bottom lashes. This is such a good mascara and this lasts all day long. And as you'll see in the picture, it is an incredible lengthener. And yes, it does look like I might have some sort of a false lash on here, but they're just beautiful. I have purchased this mascara so many times and it doesn't matter even if I'm trying out mascaras and I'm using a ton of mascaras and there's probably 57 in my drawer, however many I said at the beginning, that I'm still going to pick this up, especially if it's on sale because it is that good. It's just a fantastic one. And then last year, this one won my very favorite mascara for the year. This is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This still continues to be one of the best mascaras that I have ever utilized. It has that little bendable wand that Lash Eye Doll does that from Lancome. And a lot of people find that that's a little bit hard to work with, but boy, I love it because I can go down in there into really close to the base of my eyelashes and then pull, and that's going to flex as I'm pulling, so I'm not poking myself in the eye. And I love the way that this catches each individual lash and builds it up. It's so beautiful. I can't say enough good about this because I can get these thick, full falsy looking lashes and it just is there all day does not smudge does not flake it's just absolutely incredibly beautiful now the number one one and yes this is the one that i would buy this year if i was going to say this is my number one mascara that i found and that i love but those last six seven ten whatever we did they really are that good and so you know if you want to try any of them they really are that fantastic but the l'oreal panorama mascara that they came out with i just tried this because i noticed that it was new but i'm so glad that i did because this is a phenomenally long lasting mascara without being a waterproof formula. I could put this on, I got sick one night and I got sick from the tummy. Okay, let's say no more. But I got sick like that and so it was coming out and when I do that, my eyes water and they're dripping water. I had this on, but I was too sick to take my makeup off that night, which I never do by the way but I was too sick to take my makeup off. When I got up in the morning, this was still on. So not only was I tearing and you know, bleh, bleh, gross, nasty stuff, but this was still there. Of course it wasn't perfect, but it was still there and it's so pretty. Okay, this has a very triangular shape bristle brush with the silicone bristle brush. So it's a plastic bristle brush. I love this. This catches all of my eyelashes it makes my eyelashes look huge and long. And then the absolute wonderful factor of it being there. And you might have to use a little bit more remover. No, this is not waterproof. They do have a waterproof version, which I'm almost afraid to try because this is a little bit harder to take off. But boy, this is the most long lasting mascara that I have found that's not waterproof in a very, very long time. And you can get all of the length and the curl and the volume that you want out of it. But you have this super light, tough, tough mascara that's gonna be there at the end of the day. It's a beautiful mascara and I've heard so many people rave about it. It's just fantastic. All right, we did it. We went through 50 some mascaras and I know that the first ones I went through really fast, but that's the game that we do. We have to go through the ones that aren't so good that they're just, you know, yuck. And then we go to the ones that we really love. Now that there are hundreds and hundreds of mascaras on the market, I know that there are some that are not in here that you've probably tried. 
tell us down in the comment section yay or nay on the ones that you've tried or yay or nay on any of these and if you don't agree with the ones that i didn't like let me know if you don't agree with the ones that i do like and they didn't work for you let us know that too I love differing opinions. It helps us all out so much. Maybe you have really short light eyelashes. I have longer eyelashes, but maybe you have really short ones. And so you have a different opinion on it. So even though these might not work for me or they might work for me, you might have, you might have a different view on that. And I definitely want to hear from you. Hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because about 65% of you that watch these videos are not. And if all of you did, I would be cooking. So give it a thumbs up on your way out of here as well. I appreciate you spending your time with me. Love you so very much and come back around and see me really soon in my next video. Bye my friends.